Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel, Little Love Story. Today I am going to do your monthly, your weekly love reading for the month of September. Keep in mind that these readings are general. This may be resonate with you, it may be not resonate with each and every one of you. If it resonates with you, you can take guidelines from this reading and if it not resonate with you, you can uh, leave it. And for covering every area of your love life, I am going to use this pressure. This is easy for both of us to understand what is happening in your love life. I'm going to take four cards for your partner's feelings, attention and current situation. Four cards for your feelings, attention and current situation and two cards for mutual energies. Okay, Gemini, let's get started. What is the Gemini's person's feelings towards Gemini? What is the Gemini's feeling and thinking towards Gemini? What is the Gemini person's feeling and thinking towards Gemini? We are having here. Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, and Eight of Cups. So, what are the Gemini's feelings towards this person? So, what are the Gemini's feelings towards this person? We are having here Four of Swords, the Empress, and Two of Swords. So, what is the mutual feelings? What is the mutual energies? We are having here King of Wands and Seven of Swords. Okay, these are your cards and uh, that sign that could relate it to your person. It could be any Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this Knight of Wands, King of Wands and Two of Wands. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with this Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, and Two of Swords. It could be an Aquarius with this Empress, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this Eight of Cups and Ten of Cups. Okay, let's talk about your person's feeling first, Gemini. So, this person is uh, like this uh, Knight of uh, Wands. Like on and off, this person is like, whenever they want to come, they come. And whenever they want to leave, they leave. They, sometimes they got a lot of passion. They feel so passionate and crazy about you. And totally full for you. And the next, and, and the next moment, they feel so cold and off. Sometimes uh, they see you as a challenge. And uh, uh, they, see you, uh, they find you as a adventurous person. But the other moment, they just like turned off. And with this Ten of Cups, uh, this person, they realize that you are the perfect marriage material. No matter with whom you marry, this person is the luckiest person of this world. And you're going to make that person happy and give everything to that person. This, uh, your person realizes that like you are a perfect marriage material and if anyone... Uh, marry you definitely definitely this person see you as a, you know they want to marry you they want this completion with you completion of love they start they see you as wish fulfillment and they also realize that with this their uh, knight of wand kind of uh, passion on and off passion they realize that if you marry someone definitely you make this person happy and that thought of uh, you being uh, with someone else they, they, they losing their nights. Your happiness, your completion is like a nightmare to this person. They, they want your love. They want this completion with you. But they know that with their action and with their on and off uh, passion, they, they are not able to have this completion with you and that's bring them in anxiety and bring them depression they are they are not maybe they are not healthy as well and they are losing their nights they can't sleep at night properly they're feeling uh, depressed and sad and this person they know that you are walking away from this person and the way you walk away from this person also bring this person anxiety and depression Definitely you walk away 
in a really disappointment. This person is a disappoint disappointment. They feel like that. They are a disappointment for you, and you walk away from this person. And with this two of sword in your chart, and this is four of sword in your chart, definitely you block this person, and you really don't want to talk to this person. Let's talk about uh, your feelings, as I am telling you that uh, you take a break from this person. With this four of sword, you you and with this two of sword, you definitely cut off this person from your life. You block this person. You are Lose, using your logic and your mi mind instead of your heart and you cut off this person you know that this person is toxic and unreliable for you and that's how that's why you are making plan you are you are thinking uh, you are thinking about how to get rid of this person this toxic relationship how to get rid of from this toxic relationship you are making this plan and this is uh, this thing you are uh, organizing, you are putting everything in a sequence, and uh, uh, analyzing that how to uh, how to get rid of this uh, toxic relationship uh, that burning you both. And with this Empress card, after putting everything in a sequence, you definitely come into a conclusion that you need after blocking this person. After cutting off this person, you don't need to do anything else. You, after block this person, after taking a break from this person, you need to just stand still, sit there and shine in your inner light. You need to just calm and relax and make your environment beautiful. Make your people around you, the, the, the things that you already had, in your life, you just need to uh, shine in your brightness with this Empress card. You are so loving, you are so motherly, you are so lovable person. Everyone see you as a love, lovable, lovable person. And you just, uh, after uh, putting every, after you, you are come to in conclusion that you need to relax, you need to shine in your love, the love uh, you had in your in, in 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 you you just need to shine in in this love and this you just need to nourish yourself you you need to put your every emotion on your environment and in your people and in your folks uh, and you are like this empress so loving so helpful uh, a peace and a calm lady like this empress so let's see what is the mutual feelings definitely this person is feeding on your energy this person feels so young this person feels so passionate this person feels so turned on and arose when this person is with you and they know that with this uh, uh, ten of cups you are the wish fulfillment you are the perfect marriage material and this person is uh, like really uh, feed on your energy and they, this person feels so attractive when uh, that person is with you this person become like a king or a queen when this person is with you and they realize that you are their happiness you are their passion you are their feelings you are their emotions gemini and that's why this person is losing their health and losing their sleep and with this uh, salmon of salt, definitely this person betrayed you in the past. This person is uh, a manipulative. This person manipulate you. This person betray you. This person is uh, a cheater. You you feel like that. This person manipulate you over and over again, and you don't want to get manipulated by this person, by this toxic person over and over again. So let's see what is what else we have for Gemini. Let's see uh, what else for Gemini. What else for Gemini? We are having here Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Two of Cups. So Gemini, with this Ace of Pentacles, this person know that. Uh, in order to be with you, they need to start all over again. They they need to offer you 
stable love they need to uh, invest their energies to grow this this relationship into a beautiful uh, fruitful tree they need to invest stability reliability and honesty in this relationship and uh, on the other hand three of wands you really want to move away from this person you want to uh, travel somewhere that this person can't reach you anymore and with this uh, two of cups this is a beautiful outcome but uh, with this all your cards both of sides i can say that gemini you should wait for your soulmate you you need the way you are so loving the way you are made out of love you need to wait for your perfect divine twin flame you with this three of wand you should travel you should find you should research you should make plan you should uh, I, you just just go on social media just check social media and uh, use your our resources with this three of wand to find your soulmate your soulmate is somewhere waiting for you and you should uh, search for your soulmate you should use fb and any other social media platform to research your soulmate with this three of wands definitely you travel you travel across all these social media to find your soulmate and this person know that uh, they, they, they will try to uh, give you this illusion again like a stable love that like they want to start all over again with you but uh, i think you definitely cut that cut this person off you know that this person is toxic for you so let's see what advice messages i should have for you gemini what advice messages i have for you in the end have faith love yourself pray spend some time with your mother these are few advice messages in the end for you gemini hope this reading is helpful for you and uh, thank you so much for listening god bless you bye